What's up YouTube? This is Nicodemus from Droid Cheats and I'm going to be showing you how to install Cyanogen Mod 10.1 on your Nexus 10. Uh, this new version of Cyanogen Mod, the Nightlies now have Pi Control if you know what that is or would like to check it out. Uh, I will show you that. We're going to be using the Twerp Recovery, the Team Win Recovery Project. That's their custom recovery. Um, that is my favorite recovery and that's the one I always use. If you haven't already unlocked and rooted and installed the Twerp Recovery on your Nexus 10, you can watch the videos in the description to show you how to do that. For the rest of you that are ready to go, here's what we do. So you click on the link in the description and it will take you to this page and you will see all of the nightly releases of the CM 10.1 for Manta. Make sure you are under Manta. That's the code name for the Google Nexus 10. And download the latest nightly update. Save the file. Okay, while that's downloading, click on the other link in the description to download the Google Apps and save that. And when they're both done downloading, we'll move on to the next step. Now keep in mind, you don't have to use your computer for this. You can download these files directly to your Nexus 10 and change ROMs directly from there. You can do all of it from your device. I'm just showing you how to do it from the computer, but like I said, you can just go, you can click on the links in the description right from your Nexus 10 and download them directly to your system and install it just like that. There is not a problem whatsoever in doing that. Okay, now we're done downloading the files. Make sure you have your Nexus 10 plugged into the computer and then we're just going to find the files that we downloaded. CM 10.1 Manta Nightly and here's the latest one. And then we need to find our Google Apps. Here are the Google Apps. Drag that over as well. Okay, now that we're done moving those over to the Nexus 10, we are done with the computer. Okay, now you're going to unplug your device and you need to reboot into your twerp recovery. Power button, or volume up and down and power button. Hold all three of those. Make sure you're still holding them when it goes to boot back up. Okay, now we just hit power up twice and we're on recovery mode. Hit the power button to go into recovery mode. Okay, first thing you need to do is click on wipe and do a factory reset. Now you should have an Android backup of all your stuff. Make sure you do that before you do this. And then from there we click back. Click on install. I'm already in my download folder but you would see this at first. And I click on download. CM10 nightly. Swipe that to flash it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wipe the cache and dial the cache real quick. Click back. Click back again. And now let's install the Google Apps. I'm going to wipe the cache and dial the cache again. Do you need to do that? Probably not. I do it anyway. It takes just a second. Now let's reboot the system. And if everything worked correctly, we will see the Cyanogen Mod 10.1 boot animation. And we do. And there you are. You are on your welcome screen. We're going to skip that for now. Skipping all this stuff. Okay, now to enable the Pi controls, if you're interested in that, go to Settings, click on General, and enable, enable Full Screen Mode. Go back, click on System, 
turn on expanded desktop and we'll have a status bar visible on Pi controls turn those on and they are set up for the bottom screen border right now enable when expanded desktop is active and we have expanded desktop active right now hold the power button brings up this menu and turn on your expanded desktop now when you do that you lose your you lose your navigation buttons at the bottom if you swipe up now you have pi control back home recent apps tells you the date battery the Wi-Fi you're connected to and the time it's pretty neat um, I've been using it for a little bit and I'm not really a fan of it I've since gone back to the normal buttons because I use the back button a lot and having to swipe back swipe back it, it gets a little annoying so it's a good concept and I'm sure they will expand on it but for right now I will stick with the, the uh, regular buttons. That's how to install CyanogenMod 10.1 on your Nexus 10. And there I show you how to open up your Pi controls if you'd like to try those out. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. And this has been Nicodemus for Droid Cheats. I will see you next time.